Satnam, I'm Nirvar Singh Khalsa, and here we are in the month of October. And I'm going to start uh, with reading you a quotation from Yogi Bhajan because this is all about being a teacher. And I know you're a teacher because you're watching this. And you say, wait a minute, I haven't gone through teacher training. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. You are a teacher because you're always, you're always that person, that person of consciousness that can teach themselves. Anyway, this is what he says. Teach people to have confidence. Teach people to relate to their soul. Teach people to give life, service, happiness, joy. Teach people to share goodness, righteousness, and teach people to share happiness. Teach people to be radiant. Teach people to be beautiful. Teach people all goodness. There is a chance, but how can you teach when you're not filled? You are empty. How can you do that? You can only give when you're filled up yourself, then it will overflow. And so, how do you fill yourself up? <laughs> you know, you actually have to do uh, your sadhana. And, but in order really to be able to deliver the message in terms of the teacher, whether it's just to your own self, to it's a huge group of people, to it's just your regular humble yoga class, your communication has to be effective. Last month in September, we worked on the ability to, 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 to positively communicate, to really have that sweetness and grace in your words. But to be effective in your communication, you need a couple of things. One, you need to be able to speak really right from your guts, right? And to actually be sincere and not just believe what you're actually saying and communicating, but to have it really be a reflection of your inner self and your soul that relates to your purpose for being on earth and for exactly what you want to hear. Because now I'm, I'm talking to you, I'm listening to my own self. So I'm teaching my own self as, as actually we're practicing here. But there's a great Kriya that we'll practice this month. And, um, and this month, of course, uh, we celebrate Guru Ram Das's birthday and we chant Guru Guru Wahi Guru Guru Ram Das Guru and for 31 minutes going up to his birthday and then Dan Dan Ram Das Guru, you know, for two and a half hours in the big centers that happens. If you can join in with that, that's wonderful and amazing because it's a beautiful experience. But we're going to use um, this effective communication Kriya that comes out of the book Kriya. He taught it on April 23rd, 1978. And, you know, it uses the mantra, um, once again, you know, we're talking about Guru Ram Das. It uses Ra and Ma. Ra, 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 Ma, 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 Sa, 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 Sat, Hari, Har, Hari, Har. And what you do is you interlace your fingers and very specifically it said left little finger on the bottom and right finger over the top and the thumb straight up in front of the heart center. And um, the eyes are going to be closed and then you'll chant the mantra. It sounds like this. Ra, 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 ma, 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 sa, 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 sat. Hari Har Hari Har Ra 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 Ma 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 Sa 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 Sat Hari Har Hari Har Ra 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 Ma 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 Sa 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 Sat Hari Har Hari Har Okay, so it says no amount of time specifically for this mantra. So, but let's do it 11 minutes together. And, but if you want to keep going longer, you know, like we did last month, you know, 11 minutes, but if you want to go longer, you can. Because he didn't, he said it's, these kind of mantras sometimes are very personal. You have to actually recognize within your own self when you get into that space where you've blended with the mantra and 
you are actually with the mantra in terms of all your activity, your mental activity, your spiritual self, your physical self. And so remember to chant from the navel point. That really leads to effective communication. And this is what we'll do in the month of October. Is that now?